Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes Arena Duels. I'm Leaf, and I'm going to proceed on to the Arena Duels with my All Pegasus team. I realize that the meta game has Takumis everywhere, but it'll be fun. I put this team together for the fun of it. Um, there's one good thing about this team is that I get the positioning ad advantage in most scenarios. Uh, bad thing about it, if there's a green unit or if there's Takumis, then I'm pretty much screwed. But um, yeah, I guess at least it'll be fun. So um, let's duel! Now, I'm always going to pick the advanced difficulty, no matter who it is. Okay, so the advanced difficulty has Julia. Well, at least I think I know what I'm getting myself into. So this is going to be a worst case scenario, a Julia and a Takumi I'm assuming. Let's do it anyways. Why not? It's going to be fun, right? Oh! No Takumi. Okay. Okay, so the threats are gonna be Camila and Julia. Now, Julia is a... Oh, fuck. Oh, right. Jeez. Yeah, check these unit stats first. One time I got screwed over by a plus 8 Lucina, and the other time I got screwed over by a plus 10 Erika or some, something like that. So whenever you see these um, little pluses, you know, better check their stats. So she's a plus one, thankfully. Okay, so she's not too crazy. I can still expect her to do an insane amount of damage on all my blue guys. So these guys do not want to go near her. Uh, Camila's got high re resistance. Of course she does, yes. And so she's going to be able to take a hit from Julia. She does not get outsped by Julia. In fact, I outspeed her. Okay. I think it's because of the Hinoka Home Flyers buff. But anyways. Uh, this Camila is not a attack buff Camila. And she has a plus as well. So let me just... Okay, so she's a plus one. So just like mine. That's good. Kind of good. So she is... Wait, what is she? She's, she's highly defensive. Okay, she's a defense boon. Um, this one's an attack boon with the resistance minus. The same one I have. No pluses. Pretty straightforward. Um, how many stars is this? Oh, five star Sharina. Okay. Fortify resistance. Is that fortify resistance or defense? Defense. Okay. Okay, well... Okay, so Camila's basically gonna be doing quite a bit of work. Hmm, do I want to engage upwards or... What these battles have been going downwards? You know what? I think I might flood up the top this time and see how that goes. I might take this entrance and this entrance and just funnel my units out. All right. Yes. You know, cause it's gonna be right here. Yes. Cordelia to be here and wants to break this wall. Understood. And Katria's gonna move up. So I want I wanna go around them and maybe sort of go around them like that and converge on them like that as well.
to check out danger zones. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Okay. Rally attack. Now. Okay, so if I put a unit here, then Camila's gonna come in with a rallied attack and one-shot them so if I can get ready to follow up on that and one-shot that Camila when she does do it they'll be good the Julia I don't know where she'll go so right now I want to focus on sacrificing maybe Cordelia understood and then getting the kill on the Camila. So if I put C Cordelia here, then Sharina is going to rally attack the Camila. Camila is going to attack Cordelia and kill her. But then if my Camila is up here with a Hinoka up here, that gives her the attack and speed buff. So I can come down here for the times 4 attack which will destroy her but then the Lucina is gonna be around here somewhere as well let's see Lucina is probably gonna stay here Maybe I should bake them out a little bit more first. At least get my Katria out first as well. Yeah, let's do that. You got it. I don't want to lose my units just like that. I want to bake them out a little bit. Because you have a lot of defense. And then Cordelia with her Brave Lance. Understood. I'm just gonna stand. Okay. Here. Let's go. You know, because gonna come back and for the buff. And Camila's gonna go for a flank. Understood. So I can kill the Lucina. All right. And I can kill the Camila. <laughs> okay, well, Zero. let's do it. And the yes. question becomes, do I kill Camila here or do I kill her here? So Sharina's gonna be 
able to attack both those spaces, but it's not going to matter because she's on the opposite side of the weapons triangle. The question is this bitch here. How can I get close to you? So if I attack here. All right. I can move one, two, sideways. If I attack here, one, two. Should be here. Attack here, one, two. Okay. Okay. Of course. Yes. All right. Yes. Of course. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Understood. Yes. Yes. What the idiot is going to come up here? Oh, she's gonna take two hits. I don't really want that. Now keep in mind that I don't think any of my units can kill this Julia other than my Cordelia. But she's got high res, so she might survive. Even with 23 HP, I don't know about that. So I kind of want to use one of my units to bait an attack from Julia. Because she's obviously going to come here and try to attack me. Because she's dumb. Oh no, she's going to rally attack and then she's going to attack me. That might be what happens. Okay. So... I kind of don't want that to happen. I need to bait the attack. I need I need her to not die so because if she dies if Camila dies I might, might be in trouble. Got it. No, I'll risk okay. it. I'll see how it goes. She's gonna be here or here. So if I situate my units like this, I should be able to attack them wherever. All right. Please live through this, Camila. Oh, nope. Oh shit. Okay. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh god. You got it. Let's go. Oh, that was bad. Understood. Okay, well, the only yes. saving grace now is to KO this bitch here. Like that. Easy now. And then. I give her a um, attack minus seven, also block her way here, so she can attack here, here, back one here, well, she can actually attack everywhere, but I'm gonna give her that attack minus seven. Understood. And she's gonna do... Nothing. She's gonna have to take out Hinoka. Because Hinoka's gonna buff them up. Okay. Alright, looks like I got this. But with unnecessary casualties. You got it. Oh. Alright, you die. It could have panned out slightly better, I'm guessing, but a win's a win.
I did not expect the Sharina to just straight up go and you know go up against the weapons triangle and do so much damage to me I do have 28 defense and I had the color advantage so I don't think she'd straight up shoot for me but she did what are you gonna do about that nothing just take the hit That is it. Go that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. If you liked it, give it a like. Tell me in the comments below how I can improve, what major mistakes I made in my plays, and whatnot. And um, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one which should be pretty soon. I want to spend my dueling swords for the season. Alright, laters guys.